N2T asked me, hey, Daniel, can you do a lyric text video type of thingy? Oh, my friend, lyric text video type thingies are my specialty. But first, I need a song with actual lyrics in it to use. So I reached out to a professional musician and my good friend Jeff Abraham from the Stone City, and he sent me a brand new unreleased track from his upcoming album to pull this technique off. Take it away, Jeff. <laughs> do this in Filmora, stick around. I'll show you how. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be part of the conversation. Let me deconstruct exactly what it is I did here. Jeff had sent me his song and I had taken that and used Filmora's beat detection in order to locate the beats in the song. I did a whole video showing how to do that and if you haven't seen it, I'll be sure to link it down below. Now, once I had that track into my project, it had all of those beat detection markers right in the audio track. Because this is a brand new song, there is no video release for it, so I assembled a very quick music video sketch. These very same beat detection markers helped me to figure out where I wanted to put each of these scenes in my music video so that the changes occurred along with the music. Once I had that done, I started locating where each line of the song began and ended. These beat detection markers helped me once again. I was able to find the very first line of the song on the third marker in. Now up in the upper left, all I did was click on titles and I grabbed a default title and brought that down into my timeline. And when I clicked on it, it allowed me to start typing in the exact words that were being said in the song. In this case, those lyrics were, I got up and I moved on. So I typed that into the text box. Then it was just a matter of deciding what type of font I wanted and the size of that font. You can see from the actual text line I used, I chose Roboto Thin at a 72 point size font. Then it was just a matter of locating it on the screen wherever I wanted. The centering lines helped me to position right on screen where I needed to be. Now by listening to the song, I was able to determine where the line started and where the line ended. Now to create the animation I needed for this sequence, I clicked on advanced, I chose the text, and in the upper right, I chose animation. For this first line, I'm going to use random two. This brings the letters in randomly and creates a really cool effect. Now to control how quickly or slowly I want that effect to drop in, I can use this slider to make it occur either faster or more slowly. And I just found a timing that seemed to work right for me. When that's done, I just click OK. This is the same technique I use for the other lyrics in this song as well. I just typed in the line, chose the color I wanted to use, clicked advanced, and then applied the animation I wanted to use for this particular line. Any of these beginning ones work really well, and that's why I've tried so many of them for this song. This line I tried the wavy style. That allowed the words to kind of bounce in place as they were being sung. Again, you can control how fast the effect comes in and you can control how quickly it goes out as well. Once you have it dialed in where you want, just click OK. Now you'll notice some of these text blocks are adjusted to slightly different lengths than the exact beats. That's because I'm really trying to follow the changes in his vocal. And when I add some of these animations, it changes how the text appears on screen. Sometimes they come in a little more slowly, so I have to start them a little earlier. One slightly different technique I used was on the chorus, where I did an overlay of see-through text. Ain't gonna sing another sad song. This effect actually wasn't that difficult to pull off, and I'll show you how you can do it quickly. What you want to do is shrink your project down, and in the upper left, click on Titles, and choose the default title text. Bring that down into your timeline somewhere outside of your project, where it won't interfere with what's going on. Here all I did was I double left clicked on it and I changed the words to the lyric in the song. 
Now, to make this work, I chose the font that I wanted, and I used the centering option to make sure that everything was aligned dead center instead of to the left. Then from there, I increased the window frame size, and I also increased the font size. Now, you'll notice that Filmora presets tell you that you can only go up to 150, but you can actually type in higher values. I can get 200 in here and really get that text to look large. Another thing you may not know that you can do is you can change the spacing. If you go down below your text window in the settings, you'll see there's the ability to change the text space and the line space as well. Click on that to highlight it, and if you press the down arrow, these words will now come together and change the spacing in between each line. Now, if you right click up in your preview window, you can move this around and the centering lines will tell you when you're in the exact middle up and down and left and right so that your text is centered. Now from here, all I did was to take a snapshot of this under the preview window. That snapshot now appeared in the upper left. And by bringing that down anywhere onto my timeline, it overlays on top of my footage. But there's one more step to get it to be transparent. Left click on that element to select it, and in the upper left, activate the chroma key setting. Take the eyedropper and bring that over and click anywhere in the white of any letter so that we can remove the white and see through the letters. Now you can see the footage showing right through the lyric. The only changes I made in my actual application is I put a bit of a dissolve on so it would come in slowly. And I also added a bit of white coloring underneath that so when the footage showed through, it was a little muted, not so strong. That's a really simple effect that you can do too just by going to the upper left media tab, scrolling down to sample colors, and choosing a color to bring down into your timeline. By left clicking on that white, you open up the control options in the upper left, and in the compositing tab, you can dial back the opacity so that it will allow some of the footage to show through, but still allow you to read the text that you've overlaid on top. Putting a bit of dissolve transition at the beginning and the end of each really helps pull this together. I ain't gonna sing another sad song. And that's really all I did here to create a very simple lyric technique. If you want to learn more about Jeff Abraham's band The Stone City or want to learn more Filmora tips, tricks, and techniques, I'll put links down below. Try this yourself and let me know how it works out for you. Peace.